The historic city of Prague has been preparing for the worst. It's become a popular tourist destination since the Iron Curtain fell, but now metal barriers are trying to shield it from rising waters. Soldiers have been deployed to erect the barricades. The river Vltava, which snakes through the west of the city, burst its banks after days of heavy rain. The mayor of Prague has ordered train stations and schools to be closed, while the Czech prime minister declared a state of emergency for most of his country. There's been huge investment in defences since what was supposed to be once-in-a-lifetime flooding 11 years ago. But it's not just the Czechs who've been deluged. 150 miles from Prague is Passau, on the German border with Austria. The city is where the Danube meets two other rivers, and the heavy rain has taken the river levels to their highest for 70 years. Electricity supplies have had to be shut down, and much of the city can only be reached by boat. Many residents were unprepared for the sudden flooding. Austria has also been badly hit. One person was killed in a mudslide, while two others are missing after being swept into raging streams. In some places, two months' rain fell in just a few days. And there's been serious flooding in Poland too. People living in Bogatynia in Lower Silesia have been doing whatever they can to block the advancing water. But the flood warnings have been extended to 19 towns along the river. Forecasters say the downpours should ease this week, but hundreds of people have had to flee their homes and only when they return can they begin to calculate the cost of damage. Ian Woods, Sky News.